This week, let's spend two minutes in core eDiscovery to show you some changes within the user interface. Now, this is super cool because if you've ever gone through eDiscovery or advanced eDiscovery before and done some search terms, you'll be used to seeing these condition cards. So here we can type in our keywords and a date range, and we can choose from a list of other conditions. Brilliant. What we could also do in the past is we could use this keywords card to write complex queries in there as well. Although it's quite difficult in the past, you had to go away and kind of learn uh, the query language, is now Microsoft have put in this KQL, this keyword query language editor, which is in beta today. Because we've already created the conditions in the cards, the uh, user interface is converting that into the KQL for me. But if I rewrite this, you'll see the platform, when I start typing, is suggesting different properties I can use as part of that query. So maybe the author I'm looking for is Graham Hosking. We can put Booleans in here as well. So we can say, uh, and the date contains today's date. And we can do or statement. So or the kind of information I'm looking for equals and it'll give me a whole list of those attributes that I can choose. So if I'm looking for Microsoft Teams, I could either type in Microsoft Teams or I can just click on it. If I make an error in here and I type something that isn't a value, you'll see that the user interface then is saying there's potential issues with this. So we can see that it's giving me an idea of, hey, these are the uh, attributes that you should be using uh, other than the one that you've typed in. So again, we can make quite complex queries within here as well. Uh, so we can do uh, date ranges if we wanted to. We could do different things like recipients. So we could say, or the recipient is, and it'll give me a whole list of people that are suggested names. So this doing a lookup, it just gives you a sample of, of those and maybe give you an idea of what the kind of syntax is to, to type that in. But again, just a lot, lot easier to write those quite complex queries in running those e-discovery searches for either for your cases or for your data subject requests. That's it for now, and we'll see you again next time.